please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning and welcome. I'm Richard, providing you with all the latest tea. Well, speaking of morning, it's been four days since we lost our beloved Pylon.io and cool math games. But, you know what, let's just get to the weather with Nick. Thanks. When you came in this morning, the temperature was 19 degrees. But around lunchtime, expect the temperature to have raised to the mid-20s, with partly cloudy skies and a light snow. As we leave school at 245 today, the temperature for the day is expected to reach its peak at 28 degrees. Tomorrow you should be able to dress a bit warmer, as temperatures are supposed to get up to the mid-30s, with very minimal winds. That's it for your daily weather update. Now back to your host with even more news. Thanks, Nick. On lines one and two, we have chicken patty. On line three, we have ham and cheese or rib sandwich. Line four, we have mini corn dogs and pepperoni calzone, and line five will be closed. There are no birthdays today, so we'll send it right to Izeba Sports. Thanks, big dog. In sports action from last night, the JV wrestling team traveled to Lebanon to compete in conference with many wrestlers, wrestlers placing. Armando Roa placed second, Skylar Stewart placed third, Alicia Ramey placed fourth, and Manny Garcia placed third, and Caleb Ford placed second. Their next match will be against, or Saturday against Northmont. Also, in varsity swimming action, the team will be traveling to Crawfordsville to compete in conference. The meet will start at 5.30. And there will be a basketball doubleheader tonight with the girls JV starting at 6 and the boys starting at 7.30. And there will be a track call out on January 15th at 2.50 in, upper in the Upper Case Arena bleachers for all boys and girls interested in track and field this spring. The meeting should not interfere with winter sports practices, so please attend this meeting if interested. See Coach Galati if you have any questions. And finally, the golfers, any golfers wanting to participate in golf this spring should meet in room 102 at 7.45 a.m. this Friday. And uh, that's all for sports. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Izzy. Next Wednesday during community, there's going to be a mandatory student ambassador meeting in room 305 across from the band hallway. Remember, next Wednesday in room 305 during community. Take a backpack, buddies. This will be their eighth year. Uh, the marketing students will be continuing their annual community service project. Take a backpack, buddies. Will be. I can't see teleprompter. Sorry. This year, DECA students will raise financial and product donations in order to provide weekly food bags for Frankfurt Elementary and new, as of last year, Frankfurt Middle School. Now to Mr. Taylor with info on the Big Barcast. Hello there, I'm Mr. Taylor. I'm the theater director here at Frankfurt High School. What can you expect out of Big Broadcast this year? Well, I'm hoping that you can expect a variety of acts. Uh, we have auditions uh, coming up this Thursday. They're going to be right after school. It's first come, first serve. There's no sign up. Uh, you'll sign up once you get there, so we'll have an order then, but I uh, just want everybody there right after school. Uh, what I'm asking is that you come performance ready. I don't want you to come with me and say, well, I'm thinking about singing this song or this song, because that doesn't help me. I need to hear you at your best, so come prepared. Uh, the acts need to be only three minutes long. Uh, nobody wants to hear you up there doing a dissertation. That takes about ten minutes. Uh, we've had a couple in the past that have really gone wrong, so I'm hoping to stop that from happening. Uh, three minutes and performance ready when you come to the auditions. Thursday only. I used to uh, do two days of auditions, but I've switched that to just one day because nobody comes to the first day anyway. So we're going to go one day of auditions. If you were to join the crew for Big Broadcast or anything, the first thing is just come down and see me. Let me know that you're interested. I'm actually looking for crew members across the board. I'm looking for people to run sound, to run lights, that want to work running crew backstage, work the rigging. Uh, we're looking for stage managers, everybody. Uh, I'm really looking for freshmen and sophomores. That's what I would love. I, I get a lot of people who come in their senior year and say, I've always thought about doing it, but I just didn't before. And so I teach them, and after one year I lose them. So it would be great if I could work somebody up the ranks, uh, starting them off a little bit younger so that by the time they're a senior, they can be training somebody else. That's all for your HDTV. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. 
Willard, anything fancy to add? Nothing really. We'll see you all tomorrow.